These dry conditions have been affecting everyone across the Ozarks, but especially the farmers and some of the vegetables that they've been producing. I lost probably my first four or five acres of sweet corn and um, a lot of my field tomatoes really took a hard hit. Mark Campbell has been farming for more than 20 years. He started noticing the dry conditions almost a year ago, so he decided to plant more than normal to help ends meet. Usually when I go into a drought year, I kind of overplant. It's expensive, but it's always a risk. I mean, that's just farming, it's risky. But I just plant more because, you know, if you're picking less volume, you just have to have more volume out there to make up for it. He says that the dry conditions have brought along more pests like bugs, rabbits, and even coyotes. I hardly have been able to grow a green bean because anything that's got moisture in it, they find it and target it and hit it, and I mean, they will wipe your crops out and rabbits and bugs, anything that's got moisture in there because everything is kind of like moisture starved. And even though his produce looks to be down 40 percent this year, he's still optimistic for fall. It looks good. Our pumpkins look good and the mazes look good. Being field corn, it's a little bit more resilient and, uh, and then I can irrigate those so uh, I kind of put more effort into that a little bit and my produce crops kind of suffer a little bit more but it is what it is. As we transition into the cooler fall months, what farmers are producing may change, but one thing stays the same. We're all hoping for more rain. In Springfield, I'm meteorologist Liz McGiffin.